Going on, catch us on Wild and Mofo, real dumb shit, and redacted shunt for the Twitter on YouTube and on Facebook is official Wild on Instagram is Wild on official and Mixcloud is Wild on RDS for all that dumb shit. Yo, what's going on? The left twix and the right twix of podcasting is back. My name is Shunt, and his name is Redacted, and we are here for the real dumb shit. Yeah, I knew I'd get a duo. Yeah. What's more duo than Twix? Lots of other things. Yeah, you're right. But I didn't want to say bounty, because it paints us in a bad light. Mm, I guess that's a duo. Hmm, it's weird. Anyway, um, yeah, just give you guys a quick rundown on what we have on the show. We're going to be um, reviewing the Jane Silent Bob rap battle. Um, Marvelous Brooklyn. Um... Uh, we're going to be giving our sort of like renditions on uh, Black Panther Day. Um, Red Sonia singer on hold. Uh, Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers. Wakanda forever. Um, Bond 25. Disney Council. Who do restarts? Um, and The Offenders, um, which has basically just come out. We're just going to be doing a little bits and pieces on that. As well as Amazon Studios plans to bypass cinema, Adopted in Plain Sight, Umbrella Academy, Anthem, and many, many other sort of bits on the dumb list. So starting off with this mofo, have you seen Jay and Silent Bob's um, rap battle? Nope. It is hilarious and tragic and weird and offensive. Okay. Um, basically, um, yeah... I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to play it to Redacted. And then when we're back. Now, nah, because, the, like, if I leave the mic hot, people complain. I don't know. What, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Should we just do it like Rago? Yeah, pause it. Then. You pause it? Okay, okay. Just for the you know benefit of the people at home, we're going to pause it. Um, what are your thoughts? That. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you reckon had the strongest verses? Uh, I don't know. I think Kevin Smith nudged it for me. Nudged it just a little yeah. bit. Was it all the heroin jokes and? Uh... Yeah. See, this is the fucked up thing. It's just murderous ammo. But this is the thing. Like, it's a rap battle, right? Hollow points. Yeah. Uh, he's your mate. Yeah. You, you, you should be cussing your mate about his um, past um, drug. Drug rehabilitation problems. Why not? On live TV. Well, obviously, like, it must be something that he's comfortable with or he wouldn't do it. I suppose. But, you know, studios tend to, um, you know, just go ahead with it anyway. Yeah. Um, like, they'll just run with whatever they shot. Like, because you signed a disclaimer before, innit? So you can't. Oh, uh, yeah, but, like, I mean, from Smith's point of view, like, he wouldn't bring it up if he thought news would be uncomfortable with him bringing it up like they bring he brings it up all the time anyway like they mm. they openly talk about it on their live shows and their podcasts mm. and stuff so I don't Certainly. think their shows are really going to be any different I suppose I suppose it's a bit long though well, I, I just felt I felt I felt bad for Jay's views because well, at the moment all just, he's doing is Fortnite bruv you feel bad for Jason Mews in general I don't why not I, don't. I mean look at him yeah, but he, he is the clip master. You don't you don't fear the clip master. Yeah, but yeah, he, he looks a, a shadow of his former self. Yeah, he, should, not, he shouldn't be. He shouldn't look that bad. Yeah, he's, he's not. He's not um, the guy that's in um, jacket. Was it Zach and Mary make a porno? It's not that guy anymore. It's, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, Jay and Silent Bob's rap battle. It's good. It's good. Trying to keep it positive now. This is my new thing on the year. Just trying to keep it positive. Trying to, you know, get in that nice space. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I want to be, um, I want to be a guru. That's what I want. Shunt guru. Shunt life. I want that, I want that vibe, bruv. Yeah. What? Yeah, because everybody's just far too angry, you know. Um, it sounds like something I said at the no, 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 you just, you're imagining things, Redacted, you're imagining things, like, you know, it's just, I've always been this way, 
No, it's just, it's just, I don't know. You're being pedantic and contrarian. That's it. You're just that guy. No, but like, the proof exists. <laughs> you know you what? You can say that all yeah. you want. Please, please, yeah, like, show me want. some archived footage it's or whatever. Oh, if it's right. there, it's there. But I've always been, like, you know, Mr. Cool Vibes. I don't cool have to vibes. prove you wrong. I just know you're wrong. <sighs> this is ridiculous. All these accusations. Um, but, yeah. I can't blame you for trying to be me. Uh, really? And I can't blame you trying to be me, apparently. No, I'm trying to be... <laughs> apparently. Because I was that guy. Now, what? Now redacted that guy. I'm just saying, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just always <laughs> being cool and calm. I'm that guy. It's ah, that it's guy. like, you know, there's one person who's recycling someone's material. And recycling <laughs> someone's material? You were researching. I was delivering. I, and I deliver well. I deliver well. Um, try to say I've got ghostwriter and shit. That's horrible. Um, no, it's reverse ghostwriter. <sighs> It's said. not about me, it's about the show. <laughs> it's about the show anyway. You know what I mean? It's not about me. Stop making it about you, dude. It's not it's never been about shunt. It's never been about shunt life. It's never been about me. You know what I mean? Speaking about it's never been about me. Uh, that's marvelous that's Marvelous <laughs> Brooklyn. Let's just move this segment on, this is getting awkward. That's why you're the only one with a hashtag shunt life. Yeah, you've got hashtag uh, my name is redacted, which I find quite ironic. Yeah, but obviously, like, one is very much, like, you know, like, a, a simpler thing. And then the other one is, like, a pat me on the back. Pat me on the back all the time, bruv. Get your hands warm, bruv. Get that rubbing alcohol. Pat me on the back like Jeff Goldblum, bruv. Actually, no, no, it's the fly in it. Yeah, no, no. Don't, don't pat me on the back like um, Jeff Goldblum. Um, it's a bad reference, actually. Mm. Yeah, they're meant to be, I guess. Uh, so, Marvelous Brooklyn. Have you heard anything about it? No, it was, Oh, this, my sir, is... Um, I think it must have, like, come up yesterday. But um, Jonathan Lethem is the the original writer of the book. Apparently, he's on board. The cast is something of noteworthy value. Bruce Willis, Edward Norton, William Defoe, and Alec Baldwin. All in the same film. I don't think I've seen Alec Baldwin and Bruce Willis in a film ever. Mm. And Edward Norton. I guess. They're definitely mixed bag in that one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a plethora. What's it about? Well, I mean, it's based on the novel. I haven't read the novel. Um, yeah, but you could have looked up what it said. I did. And it's like, <laughs> but it, it, this is the thing. It's like, I don't know how to sell it because I don't know which characters are which. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just tell me what's about. I assume it's something about Brooklyn and mothers. Um, I guess. Really? Yeah, I mean, just based on... Um, nah, I think it's like a 1920s thing. I think you actually semi-mentioned this before. But Motherless Brooklyn... And then actually, I'll get the official synopsis. Oh, God. Here we go. No, because this isn't even the biggest thing. This week. Like, that's just about like, still gonna cover it. the other the other stuff. It, like, you know, and you know, this one I literally it. found out you yesterday. Can't even tell me what it's about. Like, come on, yeah, like, because basic stuff, basic stuff. <sighs> okay, summary. Here we go. Nineteen yeah. fifties uh, um, New York, marvelous Brooklyn follows Lionel Esarog, a lonely private detective afflicted with Tourette's syndrome, as he ventures into. Solved the only murder of his mentor and only friend, Frank Minna. So, kind of like a new Chinatown. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Might be good. We ain't had a detective film noir for a hot minute. It's got the right cast. Mm. Does it? You did say Bruce Willis. Yeah, but it's like Bruce Willis and Edward Norton. I think... Edward Norton won't let him do any fuck ass shit anymore. This has like been brewing from mm-hmm. like from the from the roast because that's when they done the first um, sort of like you know iteration of um, yeah, but we know the roast. Yeah, the roasts are always bullshit. It's always an advertising tool, but exactly. um, but it might be the case that Bruce promised Edward Norton that he's gonna get on his A game again. But in saying that, it's like. 
Yeah. I saw um, Death Wish came out after that. It did and it didn't. It was already made. Was it? Yeah. Was it? It does feel like it's made in five days, but yeah. Actually, I've, I've only seen the trailer. I haven't actually I seen it. I want to disagree. Listen, Willis is not on his fuck shit no more. We'll apparently. See. We'll see. But I can see this character being exactly the same character that he played in Sin City. Uh, if he's the main role. Possibly. Well, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit difficult. Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. No, 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 no. Uh, Edward Norton's going to be the villain. He's a villain. Is there, well, there's only yeah, one. He might be, be his mentor. Do you think he's going to be the big guy with Tourette's? I don't know. Because there's a lot of, like, character-based actors. I mean, like, if Bruce Willis did it, that'd be fucking hilarious. Alec Baldwin would be able to do it, like, in a heartbeat. Um, Edward Norton, I reckon maybe he's got the Tourette's. He does feel like he would have Tourette's. Um, William Defoe looks like he'll be, he would have been the mentor. See, if William Defoe is the mentor or the killer... But then that's, that's like super obvious. Uh, and then uh, Bruce Willis is either the mentor or somebody who gets murdered. They're going to waste Bruce Willis' money on someone that gets murdered. Yeah, but they ain't going to waste William Defoe money on um, the well, main character. Less, that's less. He might be the villain. That's what I'm thinking. It's more likely the villain. Maybe. He might be the mentor. Well, it'll, be make, it'll make more character sense for him to be the mentor because you've never really seen him in a mentoring role. Always in a mentoring role. Or always in a villain role. She's a fucking mentoring role in Aquaman. I see, I haven't even seen that. Yeah, I'll watch that later. Um, you have to see it to know he's in a mentoring role. What else? What else? Anyway, speaking of um, Black Panther, um, I say Aquaman is Black Panther. I said that ages ago. Uh, yeah. Without saying it. Says the person, the one person on the planet that hasn't seen it. I can pretty much tell you the whole plot. Go on then. Uh, water. Yeah. Uh, Jason Momoa. Uh, uh, trench people. Uh, awesome. uh, Ocean King. Uh, awesome. Black Manta. Uh, yeah, it's naming stuff that's in it. It's not none of these as plot. That is. That, there's that's stuff a, that's in the film. There's just stuff in the film. Okay. Yeah, but all jokes aside, um, well, you know, you got the trident, you got the suit. I think that happens tonight in the last five minutes, apparently. His mum dying, but not dying. Still stuff that's in the film. Mum dying, not dying. Mum dying, not dying. Um, yeah. Meh. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and he's uh, marrying, uh, uh, was it Myra? What, Myra? Myra or Mira? That's fine. He will do. Anyway, either, either, it's whatever. Um, so your idea, I know what. Well, kind of forever. Know, that's that's the point. I know anyway, all the plot is naming stuff that's in the film and also stuff that's not in the film. Exactly. Well, kind of forever. Um, it's a better film anyway. Uh, Black Panther. It is a better film. Um, mm. That was never on the table. Like it is never on the table. The only thing that was on the table is that their trailer was exactly the it same was as Black than Panther. Venom. No, it wasn't the same. It just made it look the same. You can make any fucking two superhero movies trailer look the same. Nah, but not with the same footage. It's like, anyway, Wakanda forever. It wasn't the same footage. Wakanda. Wakanda forever. Uh, Speaking of the stuff that's not forever, Red Sonja's, um, Brian Singer's. What did you say about Black Panther? You didn't even say anything about Black Panther. No, I said Wakanda forever. That's all that needs to know. The real ones know. That's it. Do your own research, innit? Oh, my God. Um, Nah, but Black Panther Day had just happened. Um, so it's been a year since um, Black Panther had been released into the world. Um, is the world changed slightly? Yes, a lot. Went from really positive to hot mess. Hot mess. But then, actually, I don't even know because, like, when was Black Lives Matter under Obama? Mm. Possible. Mm. That happened, and then like it transferred 
through the Trump era, innit? Yeah. Well, I think that actually added fuel to the fire of um, Trump being elected. It accelerated the far right in America. Yes. I guess the climate's all weird anyway. But yeah, um, Black Panther was released. And um, the second film, I've always had my reservations about it because I'm going to watch it anyway. Yeah. But it's one of those ones where you've got... I don't know. I'm not saying that the black community won't support it because it will. But it's not going to have the same amount of support because it's not the first like one anymore. It's the second. Um. But then I'm saying it, it's a good enough film for it not to actually be catered within that world. But exactly. it's, it's a good possible... Any second film has the, you know, the drop off. potential to have the drop off, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I mean, what? Especially if you start off so high, like, it's difficult to maintain. Oh, God, here we go. Tom Holland drops Big Avenger something. Oh god, it's turned on my Xbox. No! It's all going wrong! Connecting to Xbox. No. Why would it do that? Oh yeah, so apparently it's a big spoiler. Oh no, 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 no. It's internet stupidness. It's fine. Just a guy. Just some guy. Apparently he's alive again. Some stupid clickbait. I can't believe I fell for that. It's terrible. But it always happens during our show. Have you noticed that? We'll be chatting and stuff like that. And then some big old announcement will happen. Uh, no. Hmm? No. Yeah. It happened last week with um, the... The Offenders. The Offenders happened during our show. Did it? Yeah. Okay. Spe- well, speaking of which, The Offenders. Mm-hmm. Um... You guys may or may not know, um, Disney um, are doing lots of projects. Well, they Uh, need to. They need content for their streaming service. uh, Despite all their Netflix things being cancelled, another thing that people have been telling me, I say the people have been telling me I've been reading on the internet, um, is that Disney Disney cancelled on Netflix and restart all of them on Hulu. I mean, this is more of an American thing. I mean, because Hulu's not even out of the UK. But, um, yeah. I mainly say this because Punisher's just been cancelled and Jessica Jones' um, next season's been cancelled. I don't think they're even, they're even getting a season three. Well. Am I surprised? No. The only one that surprised me was Daredevil because I thought they was going to keep that one. Uh, well, oh, that Daredevil and maybe, Punisher. Like that was yeah, that was the the main not nah, not Punisher. Punisher wasn't surprising. Um, no, no, not after Daredevil. That's what I'm saying. Daredevil. Well, they only cancelled Daredevil because they're the ones yeah, that champion. Yeah, really the, the only surprising one. Once they cancelled Daredevil, it's like yeah, everything's gone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But there is a lot of stuff starting. Um, Got Pat and Oswald um, doing um, M O D O K. Modoc. Um, you've all got um, Kevin Smith and Dave Willis. Dave Willis done um, Aqua Teen um, Hunger Force. Hunger Force um, which is basically where one of the main protagonists is a milkshake, and the other is a uh, fries, and the other one is a Meatball. Meatball used to be my favourite. Um, I've never seen it. Have you seen it? No. Great stuff. Um, winning fans every day, redacted. Um, it looked dumb, so I never got into it. Yeah, it's because it's dumb, bro. Um, yeah, so anyway, they're doing Howard the Duck. Josh, Will, and Gordon Speak are doing Hit Monkey. Uh, Tiger and Dazzler is being done by a lady. I can't. I didn't find her name on the on the article. Uh, that I was reading, but yeah. they're all going to be put into one that's called The Offenders, as it were. I think it's because she wasn't really, like, she, 
if I could have put this in a nice way, she's very unknown. That she had nothing. Yeah, but they still usually put a name. Well, all right, I'll double check it. I did write it down. Did you? Yup. So it's Tigra and Dazzler. Tigla and Dazzler. Dazzler is an X Men character, right? Correct. Is Tigra an X Men character? Pretty sure she's popped up in Spider Man a couple of times, but I think she might be an mm. Avengers character. Yeah, that was it. Um, it was produced by, it's got to be executive produced by Erica Regimia and Chelsea Handler. The two will team with blah blah blah. So, like, that's all that's actually said about it. I remember actually this being a bit weird. This is on Wikipedia. Um,. Yeah, there wasn't any sort of like confirmation of who's actually writing it, just the people that are producing it and the people that are involved in it. But I think the overall arc will probably be like handled by, say, Patton Oswalt, Kevin Smith, um, you know, the big hitters on the roster. Mm. Mm. Maybe. And then um, they're going to be all in one special called The Offenders. So they're going to be doing super duper team ups within animations, which hasn't been done since the X Men and Spider Man. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. That is true. Thing. I mean, you got X Men Evolution and things and stuff, but yeah, but I don't remember Evolution crossing over with anything. Yeah, it's because they had nothing to cross over with. I said by Warner Brothers, weren't it? X Men Evolution. Was yeah, I think so. It was during X Men Limbo. Before Marvel started buying up everything. That was Fox. Is it Fox? No, 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 no. He was on Cartoon Network. Was it? Yeah. Evolution was on Network. Hmm? When this is it, it's like, because it's so many different territories when. This is the weird thing about the UK because it, like it's an afterthought. Uh, it's like they just buy whatever in it. Because uh, at that time you had like things like Toonami and um, X Men Evolution was on Toonami, mm-hmm. which is a Warner Brothers network show, etc. 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 Maybe. Maybe. Uh, speaking of Warner Brothers, um, Amazon Studios is looking to bypass movies in regards to the process of it going to cinema so there'll be like movie quality stuffs or movie quality video that'll hit straight on Amazon yeah but they don't already do that yeah but they're making a point of um, mentioning it now so they're going to be doing actual films so Oscar films Oscar nominated films well they are That's what I'm saying. Like they're just gonna win this one Oscar. That's the reason why they made the effort this time, mm-hmm. and then they're just gonna concentrate on um, building their roster, I guess. Build the roster, not the Oscar. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I get it. So if Netflix do a film like they done what Polar? Have you seen Polar yet? No. Nope. It's a good film not amazing mm. but it's a good film nothing's better than John Wick we, we could just establish that I disagree action wise nothing's better at this current yeah, I disagree. time at this current time still disagree okay what's your disagreement um like John Wick is fine like it's not it's action not film white action white film the hype stop stalling give me okay. a name huh? give me a name okay. an action film that's better than John Wick Better than John Wick. No, but like, what's the time frame? Like, released in like the last year? 
Last yeah, well, yeah, last, last year, year, last year, last year. Released last year. Uh, Excluding Marvel. Why? Because they're in the echelon, upper echelon, so. So, yeah, give me a name. Well, the answer is nothing. That's what it is. He's given us a big fat nothing. It's nothing. There no, is I'm a... thinking. No, there's just, there isn't a film. To, um, you know. I mean, plot wise, yeah, you got films that are way better than John Wick. But action wise, no. Mm. Just to what you're seeing on screen is just ridiculous. So, are you familiar with How the Duck, Modoc, or Hitmonkey? Uh, vaguely. I mean, Modoc, um, I remember him being like an Iron Man villain and a, gay, uh, was it, a character in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. How the Duck, obviously, I remember the original film. Hitmonkey, I associate him with Deadpool, so that's weird. Yeah. And then Tigra and Dazzler. This is before I know Dazzler's the X Man, X Woman, X person, X Men, um, and um, not too sure on Tiger. I thought that was uh, a Thundercat. Uh, yeah. Apparently, it's a chick in the Marvel universe that is in the Avengers that we haven't seen ever. So yeah, I mean, what films? Because technically, I feel what Amazon are doing is that they're rebranding straight to DVD. Yeah, I don't really appreciate the small window you've given. Yeah, yeah. then tough, it tough to. Even John Wick I was. What are you saying? In recent times, yeah. Because hmm? because I, I know there isn't one. Yeah, that's why you said one year. I had two. I'll give you two years. <laughs> but my point is, in regards to the schedule and the the impact of the violence, there hasn't been a film that has been better than John Wick. Or executed better than John Wick, action-wise. Um, Mission Impossible Fallout. Nah. What do you mean, nah? It's an action film. John Wick. No, it's not better. I mean, John Wick's not better. Yes. No, it's not. Yes. It's not. Yes. It's not. Yes. Ba- what, based on what? What is your criteria for it being better? Just the amount of action that happens in John Wick. There's a lot more tension in, in the... in the si- Well, basically, if I was to say he's doing yeah, number all, two... all the action in John Wick is the same. He goes to a place. There's a shootout. He kills everybody. He leaves. He goes to a place. There's a shootout. He kills everyone. He leaves. At least in uh, Fallout, there's varied action that's happening. <coughs> different things are happening. There's different tense it's not, it's not moments. It's not Baba Yaga. It's not Baba there's, Yaga. There's, there's, different, there's different tense moments. It's not Baba that's Yaga. Happening. He's that's fucking it. better. He's not, bro. Yes, he is. He's not. Yes, he is. He broke his foot. He that's broke it. his foot in real life, doing a real, real life stunt. And? Well, this is the thing. It's like, as I said before. Keanu Reeves can barely run. He runs like He's, an old man. We know this, we know this. <laughs> and Tom Cruise the runs Arthur like the fastest... all over his body. Well, this is it. Tom Cruise does run like the fastest man ever alive. Like, when Tom Cruise starts running, you yeah. feel... you, yeah, feel, you feel like he's running. You feel like he's running towards a goal. Mm. When you see uh, Keanu Reeves running, he looks like he's stepped on Legos. Yeah, he does. He, he looks painful. Exactly. But when he's shooting that gun, he's like, yeah, everyone's dying. Fair like, enough. Fair enough. Yeah, he mm. shoots a lot of people, but that doesn't make for a great action movie. No, I'm just it's saying. not better than Mission Impossible, and that's within your one year bullshit no, time two, window. No, two that years. Two years. It doesn't matter because it came out last year. Yeah, but it's I don't know. I don't. I, it's I disagree. A far I disagree. John Wick. Film. Nah. It is. It but is a better movie. It is marginally better. No. It marginally. Is a better movie. But it's plot so wise. No, I'm saying plot wise. Everything wise. 
plot wise. No, 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 no. Action. The action is more varied. No, the, char- the characters are more fleshed out, and there's uh, you know, uh, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, there's only one really good scene, and that's the scene where he has to pretend to be a baddie. That's about it. And he decides to win in a different way, so he doesn't kill anyone. That's the what? only scene. What? In what, it, Fallout? What? Yeah. There's lots of good scenes in that film. No, that's it. No, that's not it. There's lots of good films but scenes in that film. But this is the thing that you're forgetting. From John Wick 1, yeah. from when they kill his dog... It gets fucking John Wick one, mental. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Like, I didn't understand why you're so angry. Why? No, I didn't understand why people liked it. I was thinking, like, this is some bullshit. No, nah, it's meant to be bullshit. It is meant to be bullshit, which is what I realized when I saw the second one. I was like, "All right, this is what it is." But Fallout is just a legit good movie. <sighs> it wasn't a legit good movie. This is. It's okay. Oh, are you nuts? Have you even fine. seen it? Yes. Oh, you're lying. It's fine. You're it's lying. Fine. You're lying. It's fine. This is like, oh, I've, like you're, I've seen Aquaman. Oh, there's, there's no, 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 no. I haven't, I haven't seen it. Aquaman, but I have seen Fallout. Your, 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 your review of Fallout it's is... fine. There's, there's, a, there's a helicopter, and uh, there's his wife's in it. Uh, Ving Rhames is back. Uh, oh, Kevin, Kevin, um, not Kevin. Um, Simon Pegg, Simon Pegg turns up. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, Tom, Tom Cruise. Tom Alec Cruise Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin, he makes a he makes an appearance. You never seen Alec Baldwin and Simon Pegg in the same film before? No, you have. Yeah, I know you have. But <laughs> you got to do my 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 contrarian <laughs> review. You got to have to you're gonna have to master the the you nuances. Know, don't forget Henry, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill's in it. That, yeah. The whole the whole uh, mustache uh, debacle that started here. Put this. <laughs> See, that's 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 the thing that mainly minuses points. Why? Of the whole Fallout experience. Why? It's like, I don't care about the moustache. It doesn't matter if you care about the moustache or not. It's just what he did to two films. No. No. If you, if you, like, removing, right, if he shaved, it would not have made Justice League a better movie. If they had to put, like, a facial wig in Fallout, (laughs) <laughs> that, 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 exactly. Exactly. That could just change the whole game. Oh, it changed the whole game. I but, think they made the right choice. Yeah, There's no did. point fucking up Fallout just because uh, DC and uh, Warner Brothers couldn't get their shit together. Mm. Mm. Is it? I mean, to be fair, I think it's the most stressful thing at that particular time. So working under Zack Snyder yeah. and that bullshit situation, it was the worst time to work for. Warner Brothers. However, another thing that I've actually thought of, which is semi-controversial, not a lot of people are going to like this, because I do like the films that he has done, um, Joss Whedon is very difficult to work for. Uh, now. Not then. Now. Why? post age or Ultron. Why? Because he's not delivering, like, the actors, like, before it's like the actors were on point, you know, you can see a little bit of vibrance in their characters and all that stuff. Now it's just like, but then it might just be Chris Hemsworth is um, charismatic and nature. What do you mean? But then saying that, he's in Ghostbusters, ain't he? Yeah. And it was shit. Yeah, but that wasn't his fault. No, it wasn't his fault. It also has nothing to do with Joss Whedon. That's what I'm saying. So that's, the my thing is, is that it must be Joss Whedon. Seen him do anything apart from Justice League? That's what I'm saying. And Justice League was, yeah, but it is already like a harsh movie. Like it's like it's like if you have already cooked the ingredients of a meal, and you walk away and, and you ask there. another chef to come and construct that meal with the ingredients that you already have. Half cooked eggs. Exactly. It's yeah. still it's not going to be it's yeah, yeah, be yeah the same as if he he made it from the beginning. No, I mean the only thing that I would say looking forward is probably what James Gunn um, his version of Suicide Squad two should be fine when we see it. I mean to be fair, if he reads enough comics on the Suicide Squad, you can't really get it wrong. If you read like two or three, you can't get it wrong. Like that's what it is. Mm. Yeah. It's actually quite easy. Like, if you was making a film off Suicide Squad, that, that actually, Suicide Squad's easy yeah, to look have been the, That should have been the easiest thing to make. Mm. Bad guys, unknown bad guys, in a team. Yeah. 
forced to save the day. And you killed some of them. At least, like, half. Hmm. Yeah, you would do, innit? Because the usual thing is, like, about three or four die on the mission. Yeah. And then, um... Yeah. And then, say, Deadshot survives, Harley Quinn survives. Mm. And that's it, really, innit? Yeah, except... Um, I would have liked them to have other characters where but other it's mediocre. more believable that they will die. Or but no one, no one, no one saw the trailers of Suicide Squad and thought that um, Harley Quinn was going to die. And no one thought that um, the guy w- had rope for a power wasn't going to die. Yeah, exactly. Like, everyone knew he was going to die first. It wasn't even. It wasn't even a contest. Like it wasn't even interesting. Mm. to be like who do you think is going to die first well obviously the, 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 easy, the easiest thing for them to do is like you don't even like this is the fucked up thing you don't have like the funnier thing to do is to have characters that are similar to main roster characters so like yeah, super villains like, and then kill them off so you don't have the Joker you have Trickster or you have someone else that you're not going to use mm-hmm. that will be the thing so like you'll be seeing like the joke Maybe. again I mean that's the only way I can see it carrying on really yes yeah yeah so that aside um yeah abducted in plain sight bruv I think I've watched the the worstly constructed true crime thing on Netflix couldn't be less interesting well it's all fucked up it's all fucked up <coughs> for those that don't know amongst all these things a paedophile has managed to convince both the mum and dad to do sexual acts to him without the aid of a gun oh, paedophiles come up way too often on this podcast well it's only the last two mm. nah so that, that, another reason why is because um, there's this guy called um, Alex Jones um, and he's got some beef with like Joe Rogan which is like the top podcaster at the moment and I always find it funny that um, some things that he says like he's, he's, he's got like some beef with um, well obviously it's what Jimmy Savile was doing whatever because we had Rolf last episode we got to do Savile um, it's dumb this is the thing, it's like, apparently, he was eating pituitary glands or something like that. Okay. Um, off these people. Um, the Based dead people. Based on pe- the news account? Well, there is sort of, like, evidence that he was into necrophilia and other bits and pieces. To what extent wasn't actually, you know, fully on, as it were. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is like, yeah, Jimmy Savile. And, uh, yeah, like it's the same thing. But then it's like, this whole thing, like, have you ever watched InfoWars? No. It is, it's contrived. It's very contrived. Like, it's all done to a perspective where he wants to generate emotion within you so you get angry or you get passionate about something, which is good in some senses because people aren't passionate about the news. However, it's the subjects he's covering. It's just sort of like you can imagine some big fat guy um, sat in a chair getting more and more irate about said subject and that's what you're seeing but either either um, the whole Jimmy Savile thing in the UK mm. as it were is he was a creep I'm not sure if he's fully part of a satanic cult or whatever and he eats paternity glands from infants yep um, all that stuff's hearsay because I don't remember saying that but um, yeah it's super fucked up Apparently you're saying that the royal family's involved in it and all that stuff. Which could, is neither here or there. At the end of the day, um, the way I see problems, as horrible as it is, unless it affects you directly, it's best for you not to give a fuck about it. It's kind of dark, right? Um, yes. Hmm. So yeah, in regards to abducted in plain sight um, and all that fuckery, um, yeah, 
If your child goes missing for five days, go in the police. They did do that. No, they did it five days after the fact. Yeah, you said for five days. So they did do that. No, no, no. no what no, they no. should have done was contact the police earlier. Like an hour after, you know, the guy... Yeah, when he, once he was late and there was no phone call contact... And you really got like your feelings about this guy horseback riding. Yeah. And especially when the wife comes in and says, Don't call the police, that's time to call the police. Yes, this is that's the best time to call the police. In fact that's the optimum time to phone yeah. the police. Fuck that bitch's feelings. Yeah. Fuck you, Janice. My baby. Wasn't it Janice? No, no. no I, I can't remember her name. I mean it's all very forgetful, like this whole Ducks in plain sight. I've only watched half of it, mainly because I just get angrier and angrier and angrier that people are that stupid. And I have to accept that people are that stupid. Like, there's one thing for you to be weirded out about what Jan is like, you know, which is the ductee, her daughter, um, the attention that she's getting from your next door neighbour or whatever. Yeah. There's one thing for you to focus on that another thing for you to focus on that and then still get off with the guy or relieve him or let him fuck your other door yeah the parents are acting super suspect it's like I know, I'm not sure the ins and outs of the latter day saints because it feels like it's like it's a religious thing that's the only way that you can get away with it like, it must be written in scriptures or whatever. I know that the Mormons, um, they have um, sort of like polygo, what's it, what's that, polygamy? Yeah. Polygamy? Well, they have many different Probably wives. relationships. Yeah. So, it's a weird one, really. Um, yeah, no, I don't think it's a religious thing. I just think it's a, for some reason, like, he must have been doing something Oh, lend, lend him their daughter. Bruv, bruv. They actually do it, like, uh, from what I've watched, I've only watched like half of it. There's one bit where he convinces them that he needs to sleep in the room because he suffered abuse. He has to sleep in the room with the girl for his therapy. Yeah, why would you not? Why would the alarm bells not be ringing? What is wrong with you? It's the semis. Fuck the semis. Yeah, but come on. We don't really know what paedophiles were. Come on, not even in their bed, like in the daughter's bed, no. Hmm. That's what happened. Apparently it's a true story. <coughs> Which is messed up. Speaking of stories of a weird kind, um... Actually, true stories. Let's just stick stick to true stories. Let's try and keep it a nice little feed. Tom Hanks is Mr. Rogers in a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Such a beautiful day. Would you be mine? We've just had a Mr. Rogers. No, we've had three, three Mr. Rogers activities. Was that? Yeah, you had two um, film documentaries. Mm -hmm. You had one TV series with Jim Carrey. And now you got this. This one hasn't happened yet, no. No, the Jim Carrey one has happened. Yes. Has it? Yeah, so out in America. Well, where is America? You seem to like Mr. Rogers. No, oh, Mr. Rogers, it's hard not to like it, but then I'm worried that, as horrible as it sounds... It's easy not to care about it. Nah, but I'm worried that Mr. Rogers, that after seeing, like, abducted in plain sight and all that stuff, I'm not saying that he was, but... You know, a lot, a lot of people thought that, you know, Jimmy Savile was, um, was able to get in a position of, like, this power and be surrounded by said... But then this is the thing, it's like, what drives somebody to be in that situation where, you know, you've got, you know, full gambit of kids around you? Hey. Must be somebody that wants to be around these kids. And it's called being a pedophile. No, 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 but this is it. It's easy to spot them out, but how do you weed them out? Like, how do you 
because it's it's an ecosystem, isn't it? I I would assume like so. If you, how do you recognize the ecosystem that people build up? Like for example, that that in plain sight guy, he was a savage. He he fucked the mum. He got jerked off by the dad. He fucked the the little sister, the middle sister, and yeah. He adopted the the daughter twice. Well, I mean, anyone can see that um, it's just the, the parents went along with it. Mm. Uh, they were they were complicit. Like they were cool with it. So um, no one from the outside is going to see it. But the parents are like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah but if you find the FBI, hang around, <laughs> just let this dude hang around our doors and whatever and sleep in. Well, I suppose that the alarm bells weren't ringing because they've got, he's got kids. So? He didn't want to be incestuous and a paedophile, and so he had to go get someone else's kids. Yeah, I understand that, yeah. Maybe he was giving him money. I reckon he was giving him money. Maybe. Um, Money has a large thing to do with it, but then it's like, there's no, there's no amount of money. That's fucked up if your handyman was a, a full blown child rapist. Well, that, that's. That's what happened, didn't it? Yeah, that's what happened in Adapted in Plain Sight, but it's yeah. like, you know, he's saying, I'll, I'll build you a wall, a garage, and I'll convert your loft if you let me fuck around with your kids. Yeah, that's, that's probably what the door is. It's, it's dark, but I get it. It's like, it's alright. You know, you get over it. I mean, it's no darker than, like, they let him do it for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. It's like, like if no, it if it was no benefit to them. Yeah, it's uh, it's a messed up situation, though. It? It's like, yeah, she's never gonna be the same. But I've got a new um, new swimming pool in my back garden, mm. and um, she was annoying, you know, sort of thing. So, I mean, post interview, so. Uh, difficult, right? Yeah. But, I don't know, coming from a moral background, I never sell my child for um, household improvements. Ever. Mm. And I wouldn't let a strange man um, sleep with my two daughters for his therapy. Yeah. Tell you what, you can sleep with these two bullets in your head, motherfucker. Sleep well. Mm. Have a nap. Uh, speaking about having a nap, um, Anthem. Yeah. A lot of people have been sleeping on this, but there's this new Blomkamp um, part of it. So Neil Blomkamp, the guy that done um, Chappie and what's the other one, District 9, yeah. he's doing a featurette on it called Conviction, okay. which is like a film within a game. So it's actually in the game? So it's the yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, I don't want to make extended um, FMV things. Mm. But yeah, he's doing that. Um, but real talk, would you have that or you have um, Chappie? A Chappie too? What? Have you seen Chappie? Yeah. Um, would you prefer him to be fucking around in video games or do you want to do a Chappie Just too? Why for it? Like, it doesn't really make a difference. Why does it have to be either or? It's not, it's not like one stops you from being able to do yeah, yeah. Well, it does. Not obviously. Really. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. Well, anyway. No, so. One's like a couple of weeks work and one's like a couple of months work. There's a big difference. <clears throat> I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, but it's a bit weird though. I mean, I haven't heard too much about Anthem. I think I played a demo. It's It is out. I think it's, like it's out. It came out on the fifth. It came out on the twelfth or the sixteenth. It's like a Valentine's Day thing. Uh, that's out. Well, it's out on PlayStation. No, not much. I'm not sure if it's like a week exclusive. Do whatever. Maybe. All right. Speaking about um, exclusivity, Umbrella Academy, sir. So I do have you, I mean, for what you've watched so far. Oh, because it's exclusive to Netflix. It's not, though. 
It's Netflix original series. That's oh, right. In the beginning, yeah. Is that why it comes on in the states? I don't know why it comes on in the states. Exactly. So it might not be a Netflix original. It may well not be, but in the UK, it's a Netflix original. Yeah. We've been through this already. You saw it with Happy. Happy's uh, sci-fi original. And um, over yeah, here, it's a Netflix really, original. It's not really. It's not truly exclusive. No, but I'm pretty sure Umbrella Academy is exclusive. I think it was developed by Netflix. Um, so, yeah. Actually, okay. Yeah, it's good. I'm into it. I like it. Hmm. It's a lot better, in my opinion, um, than... Well, it's kept my attention more than Titans. Mm, yes. And it feels like it's a lot more deeper than Titans could ever be. Yeah, I mean, the story is more interesting but, than Titans. Hmm. Um, there's a lot more to the characters hmm. than Titans, but... Um, I don't know, yeah. But Titans is is made in like the CW vein but like a little bit edgier I guess mm. yeah. um, but like this Umbrella Academy is like it just feels it's good prestige, right like yeah prestige TV so it does feel good yeah. it feels good to watch it I ain't gonna lie yeah like I it was actually it kind of reminded me of the first uh, compelling story like I was not not disappointed to like let it run just mm. watch the next episode watch the next episode. I mean I fell asleep three times but it's only because I'm being dog tired um, but I was trying to binge watch it like I would binge watch Titans yeah. and it's so detailed like you have to you have to watch an episode twice before you move on to another one like, I think it's like the third one I was just confused because cert- no no but it's like certain things happen but I didn't know why they happened yeah. um, it's because you're falling asleep while you're watching it yeah, because I'm getting home really late and I try to catch up on films. Yeah, so like... But I finished Titans. Regular people don't need to watch it two or three times. They can just mm. watch it once mm. and then know what's happening. Yeah, definitely. If you're sleeping, then yeah, you might have to watch it again. Mm. I'm so tired, bro. I've been so tired recently. So tired. Everyone here wants to hear me whining. Everyone else wants to hear me whining, bro. I've actually got... um couple bits for the mailbag that just people um, want me to complain mm-hmm. yeah basically I've got a, a message from a lady on Twitter oh is it mailbag time now yeah it's mailbag time uh-huh. um, yeah basically the correspondence that I got was um, what's your favourite thing to complain about in life in general <laughs> I am. That was the best well, one my this week. Favorite thing to com- I don't know, probably films, since this is what we do. Yeah, um, me, I, it would be giving out free water, yeah. or free the free water uh, complexity. Uh, I think you should actually chill out on that one, but whatever. No, no, you know why, right? It's it's a waste of everybody's time. It's not. Some people are thirsty. You should provide them with water. In summer, I get it. In winter, no. I, what, I people really... can't be thirsty in the winter? Yeah. They can't. Well, clearly they can. If we're cold in winter, can't be thirsty. Why? It's like raining all the time, bruv. Open your mouth. Yeah. If, you, if it's that bad, if it's that bad, open your mouth. What's rainwater? I want the tap water. Refreshing Don't get tap rainwater water. either way. Refreshing tap water. Re- refreshing filtered tap water. Yeah. I suppose. I suppose it would be better. Exactly. Although, what is the best filtration? The sky or a tap? The tap. Yeah, that's right. I'm just making sure. Making sure. Because I've been speaking about the Umbrella Academy. I have to make sure. Why? Um, umbrella. Rain. Bruh. Okay. Terrible. So, yeah. So, that's my one. So, did you get any correspondence? One dead letter. That one dead letter. Well, yeah. I mean, at the moment, I'm just trying to, you know, gauge whether or not um, you have any. Yeah, I do. I've got, um, I've got an email 
female. Uh, I just need to write down the name this time. Okay, what's the name? Uh, okay, so I've got an email from Hacks- Hacksaw Dim Juggin. Dim, oh, that's a good play. Um, if DC don't reboot, how will the new Batman fit in? Is that the question? Yeah. So how would he fit in? Yeah, like how how would you see the new film fitting in to the current DC universe? Um, Flash goes back in time. <laughs> Why? Why is it always about Flash going back in time? Because he's already established that he's come back from the future yeah, but already. Shit at it. He is, but that's how you would fit him in. No. Flash would go around and collect, you know, superheroes to help with a crisis of some kind. He'll jump you know, around. Okay, why? Hmm? Why? If he has to go back in time to get a younger Batman from the past, what, what's wrong with the current day Batman? Is he dead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he did. Well, he just died on a mission. He just died died on a mission. Oh, we need Batman, so we have to go back in time. Yeah, but then that the previous time. I mean, if anything, if anything, if anything, it, it, it ticks two boxes. But One, you get a younger Batman or a Batman that none of these tragedies have happened to. Yeah. Um, yeah and you have no Batman in the past to fight crime. Yeah, so he'll be in the future fighting crime. Yeah, but he wouldn't be in the past to fight crime. So when Joker turns up to poison the water supply, water supply is getting poisoned. Yeah, it, 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 whole people, whole people t- then that's on the Flash. That's not on the... Um... One now, bro. All no, no, wins. but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, they're asking me in this current state, how would you do it? That's the only way you can yeah, really we, do it. we want to hear a good way. We don't want to hear dead ways. All right, so what, what Batman are we looking at? Like in regards to this reboot, is it Detective Batman, or is it? Um, what difference does it make? Well, the difference between Detective Batman and Batman that can, Batman that kills everything is Detective Batman finds a way. Uh, Batman that can kill everything, or was it Tower of Babel, Batman? Yeah. Um, it's it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Like, what Batman are we getting in exchange for Affleck? I don't see the relevance to this question, but let's just say, let's just say uh, it's whatever Batman you want. No, the Batman I want is Batman has nothing to do with this Justice League. Nothing. Be. I just, I reckon they should just go straight into Dark Knight's metal. Just make it. It's no, because why? Are you, why do you even want whatever dumb shit that they've written recently? Because the stuff that they've brought out before, I've already read like forty-five times. Remember, there's only been like, uh, how can I pull it? Um, two. There's only been seventy odd years of Batman. There's been about seventy odd years of Batman, yeah. and there's only been what five films. Well, I mean, all right. Let's let's just let's double that up. It's not five. It's a little bit more. I think it's been. Look, there's been ten, about ten films, ten Batman films. Yeah, but actually, based on comics, because that's what you're talking about. You're talking about you don't want to see something that's been based on a comic or, or has or been done already. Been done already. Yeah. So only <coughs> four, hmm. maybe, have been based on comics. But then saying that Batman 1989 and um, The Dark Knight are technically the same film. But then, same arc. Uh, Where the Batman first meets the Joker. Really? Yeah. Well, you might have Because um, Batman's always deeper than diving with Joker anyway. Um, but yeah. Um, the Batman that I would want would be uh, Batman similar to Batman Inc. So, young, determined, organised, Batman. That gets hit with Amiga beams. 
and still makes it to the meeting. Mm. Okay. Um. But yeah, fix yeah, it with so Flash. How does that fit? Hmm? How does that fit? How does that fit into the thing? No, I'm just saying, if it, that's the Batman in the film. Yeah. So you just have it not related to the other movies? No, you just pretend it's just the other movies that, like, aren't there. That you just full blown Mark Ruffalo him. You okay. replace you replace him with a better actor and just keep it moving. Fair enough. Like that's the only, I mean that's the only thing that works. You replace the actor mm. with a better actor and no one complains. You replace the actor with somebody who's e- equally as mediocre then you're gonna get nothing but heartbreak. Mm. that too but yeah any well yeah so what about you oh um what I would do is um the new Batman solo films Mm -hmm. I would just have like prime it'd be Batman in his prime Mm -hmm. um what is Batman's prime well not when he's just starting So 27 Batman. Maybe. Anything in between. Don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything in between. Those two things that they like to do all the time. Mm. Either Batman at the beginning of his prime or at the beginning of his career. So 30 year old Batman I would say is the best. 30 year old Batman. Maybe, whatever. And um, yeah I would just have those films um, like not not in continuity but they will just be not current con- continuity so it'd just be like this was Batman in his prime this is what he was doing blah blah blah, mm. blah blah and then whatever they can do whatever they want for the Justice League films if they want uh, I don't know like he's wearing a mask for most of the time so it doesn't really matter if you use the same young actor or not mm. I don't think um, mm. or you could just recast someone older um, more closer to what they've already had for uh, BVS and Justice League for uh, like Justice League I reckon that one would probably be better. Well, where they take the Batman from the past and put him in the future. Because Batman dies. I didn't say that. Huh? I didn't say that. No, that's what I'm saying. I think, like, you know, the original idea that I came out with. <laughs> it's the only way you can fix it, and it will add more tragedy to the background, because it will make more sense. Yeah, but there. then there's no Batman in the past to fight crime. Because Batman from the past was brought to this timeline. And what and is this pre? Is this pre Robin? Pre Batgirl? It'll be pre. So he'll be doing. So basically, Batman basically ages like five years in the future. That's the idea. So there's no Dick. There's no Barbara. Yeah, but then he's dropped back to that same point, older. And that's how we get Batman. Batman Affleck. It's a round amount of time travel, and then it becomes uh, also a Superman Red Death. Did it. Huh? I said also Superman did it. So what do you mean Superman did it? What do you mean? Well, the League of Superheroes go back in time to when Superman was a uh, teen, mm-hmm. he's Superboy, mm-hmm. and they take him on like missions in the future, so he's a better Superman, mm. and they just drop him back in the, his regular time. Mm. He just gains experience from doing seemingly nothing. Going on lots of missions. Yeah, well, I believe the same thing should happen with Batman. I don't think they should be doing the same thing. So, ironically, anyway, so he goes to the past, yeah. knowing what he knows, and he becomes a different person. Literally, that's no longer Bat- Batman um, being Ben Affleck. You can do what you want. It's the only way you can, like, time travel in this particular instance is the only way you can fix this nonsense. The only way. Yeah, you can also just pretend like nothing happens. You can do that. But I think it's too late to do the whole Mark Ruffalo um, strategy. But you just said that was your idea. No, but I'm just saying, I think now, like, it's too late. Like, like they got you, you either get rid of them after the one film in order for it to work. Because it worked with Rhodey, it worked with Ruffalo. Uh, so, yeah, it's the only way. 
They've done it before with the previous Batman films. Which Batman film? Like from '89 to Schumacher. Uh, the only ones that you really count as a duo or whatever are Batman and Batman Returns. The others. Yeah, but it's the same continuity. Like, no, the same continuity is only accept. from. Oh, Jesus. You just accept. Mm. Like Bond, it's just another actor. Same character. No, 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 no. Same no, character, no, 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 no. new actor. Because it's a different ethos in that universe. So, you know, Robin's now part of that universe. So? No, but I'm just saying, in regards to. Um, for, was it Batman Forever to Batman and Robin? Yeah. Those films are connected. They have different Batmans in them, so yeah, they've got different Batmans in them, but they are different characters. No, they're the same character. Wait, so wait, they're all Batman, played no. by different actors. No. no, they're not. Yes, they are. No, what do you mean no? Different Batman with different, you know, attributes. What different it's like attributes? it's like Christian Bell. Christian Bell is the only consistent Batman. If that makes sense for three films. Yeah. Ha- like he's the longest serving Batman. Yeah. Which is fucked. Um, but in regards to sort of like Michael Keaton's Batman. Yeah. He's a completely different Batman to Val Kilmer. I mean. No, no, it's the same fucking Batman. You know it's the same Batman. Why are you trying to say that it's different Batman? No, 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 no. Forever is a different Batman. No, it's not. It is. No, it is not. It is. No, it is not. Yes, so is. No, it isn't. So is. Based on what? What are you talking about? Because it's no longer Tim Burton they did. So? So it's not the same film. What? It's, like it's no longer Chris Nolan. because they got a different uh, director. It's and a different, a different actor. It's no. a different film. No, no, it's a no, reboot. No, no, no. All right, then. So then how comes you've got Robin with two different Batman and it's the same Robin? See, that's the thing that fucks up. Exactly. That's the thing that makes you wrong. No, that, that just means that Batman Forever and uh, Batman and Robin Batman are part of the same universe. The other no. t- the, the Batman Returns Robin is nothing to do with... They're all the fucking same Batman. It's basic stuff. Like, why are you, why are you trolling? They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not the same. Why are you trolling? They're not the same. They are the same. Not the same. You're being contrarian. I'm not being fucking contrarian. Yeah, you're you're being, being contrarian. You're being very, very... Um, very confrontational and I don't appreciate it. Um, <laughs> no reason yeah. whatsoever. Well, no, no reason whatsoever. Yeah, because you're mocking for no reason. Huh? I'm not. I'm just saying. You know, like... Yeah, no. It doesn't just, make you're sense. saying stuff that yeah, you know is not true. <sighs> it's, it's silly. Speaking of stuff that's not true, um, are you looking forward to The Offenders? Maybe. Is it, what is it? Meant to be animated? Yeah, it's all animated. Uh... Because you've got that, and then you've got what, Invincible out uh, within the year? I assume Maybe. it's May or something, isn't it, you said? Because after I watched Umbrella um, Academy, or s- most of it, I now realise that comic book f- films and TV series can be good. No fucking shit, why do you realise that now? No, I mean, like, I thought they could, uh, like, because you said to me the other day, that um, Marvel is the echelon, the upper echelon. Yeah. Or the upper echelon of all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, my point is, like, and it's not... Umbrella Academy, yeah. ironically, plot-wise, is equally as epic, yeah. which I was not expecting. Yeah, it is. It has a very, like, it's a grander stage. But in saying that, it's bec- I think it's because I never read the comic. Okay. Um... Like, I read, like, snippets online just to get a little, you know, wet the appetite. Mm. Um, but, yeah, it's mad. It's mad. Proper mad. I do like... Um, See, this is what happens when you spend, like, eight or nine months just saying everything's going to be trash. You're going to be surprised by something that's good. Yeah. It is, it's just simple, you know, probability and um, common denominators. It's just, it's just math. It's bound to happen at some point. Yeah, obviously. Everything can't be trash. Yeah. Everything has the potential to be good. Yeah. 
with the best intentions. Yeah. Which also, everything has the potential to be bad with the best intentions. Mm. But, like, as long as you're, you know, if you're, if you're spending the uh, reasonable amount of money on it, mm-hmm. and you have faith in a project, etc., etc., you're putting mm-hmm. the right people in the right places, mm-hmm. you know, you're building, you're building the potential for success. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Alright, um, anything else to add? Um, yeah, nah, I had another letter by it, but I lost it. I think I deleted it by mistake. Sorry, whoever that was. Soz. But thank you, Hacksaw Dim Dragon, for your, for your correspondence. Mm. You sure I wasn't the one I read that before? What? Well, you know, the, what gets you the most angry? Nah, that's a stupid question, I want to pick that up. Fair enough. No, no, that's the only one I actually had time for. Like the others were really bad. I mean, there was. Can't be worse. Mm, one of them was, "What's your favorite childhood game?" When you have that, right? No, it's a question. You just did it as a subject. That's what I'm saying. Like they're just saying stuff that we've done already. Fair enough. It's kind of productive. Also, the British Bulldog. Uh, actually, I hate British Bulldog. No, actually, I did like British Bulldog. I don't know if it was my favourite, though. Mine was... Um, uh, maybe it was like One Touch Steam. No, no, you're thinking of childhood... Like, I'm talking um, just in general, not just playground games. That is in general. So you prefer British Bulldog over a video game? Or, maybe. Or Monopoly or whatever. Uh, for me, it would be. Thinking of something that got me hype, isn't it? For me, it would be Street Fighter, um, Alpha Three. That was the the hype game for me mm. when I was younger. I think it would have been about ninety eight or something. Kiss Chase. Oh, I didn't like Kiss Chase. I always used to get caught by the fat girls. How? How? The fat. That's the whole like. That's you escape them first. When, no, I used to get teamed up on Kiss Chase actually. No, not not in like ego wise. Because sure. girls, girls didn't like chase me down because they liked me. They chased me down because they hated me. Um, I think that's incorrect. No, no, it was like it's quite quite likely bullying. Um. Yeah, that's what girls used to do. Like, they bully the boys that they like. Uh, I, was, I was loved then. Yeah. I was, I was fully loved. Yep. Terrible stuff, bro. Yep. And nothing but, like, nail marks in my hand. They well, just wanted yeah, to leave. Definitely. They wanted to leave yep. an impression yep. on me. Yep. For life. Yep. They wanted you to think about them when you grow up. Mm-hmm. It's bad. It's messed up. It is. Bro. That's my life. So Kiss Chase, definitely out. I don't like it. Um, I liked. Yeah, I didn't actually like Kiss Chase. It was too. There was too much pressure. What does that mean? It's like, do you, do you chase and do you find the girl that you like because you're only gonna get rejected? Uh, yes. It's like how to be rejected and semi rape. Can't chase. be rejected in Kiss Chase. Yes, you can. People get tired. There's tired. Yeah, if you're running for a long time, you're like, yeah. fucking just kiss me and leave me alone. It just builds bad. Quicker. Just catch people before it gets to that point. Uh, it's just... Like, this is the thing. If if we... <laughs> if you to organise an event yeah. and there's an adult kiss chase, bruv, there'll be so many cases from that. Nah. People would not have a bar, bruv. No, 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 no. Know what you're signing up for. Don't come tell me afterwards. Me too. Like fuck you. No, nah, bro. It's like, nah, 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 nah. You saw. It's gonna happen. You saw. You saw what you were playing. Adult kiss chase. Mm. And what? Like you. That's done. That's done. It's closed. No, nah, bro. It. It. Like it will happen. It will happen. Because my friend Jimmy Pineapple would say, "Case fucking closed." 
like my friend um, Samurai Grapefruit would say, <laughs> slice and dice. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's Jimmy Pineapple, bro? Terrible stuff. Uh, um, but yeah, it's another episode. It's actually quite a quick episode, I think. I think it's because we actually paused the the thing. Like, there's no piss jokes or anything like that. Which I apologise, by the way. Piss, jokes. piss and shit jokes. Yeah, but we didn't. No one went to the toilet during the pause. It was irrelevant. No, I'm just saying last one. You know. Uh, happy birthday to you, Redacted. Uh, thanks. Um, although it's like a couple of days ago. And I apologise for not getting you a stripper. Uh, it's fine. I mean, I usually get a, a stripper, but, um, yeah, it's just lastminute.com. Uh, yeah, it's cool. But yeah, um, yeah, and that's it, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Alright, later.